Okay, what's going on everybody? Um, I just want to make a short video and let y'all know if they fix my headlights or not. Now, if y'all been watching the channel for a while, you know that one of the main issues I've ever had with this truck was my headlights. And what happened there was, was I would be driving down the road and I left my switch turned on auto, as most people does. If you have an auto feature on your headlights, most people leave that on to auto. And um, when I'd be driving down the road, when I hit my turn signal, my headlights would flicker. Now, anytime I'd turn the steering wheel back and the headlight switch bounced down, they would come back on. It'd do it just for a split second. And I, I honestly, when it first happened, thought, are my eyes playing tricks on me or did my headlights really just flicker? I couldn't tell for a minute. Then it got a little worse. I'd turn them on and they would go out and then it would take a second and it'd come back on. And I'd be like, oh, I seen that, I seen that. I know it's an issue, I seen it. Then I took it to the dealership and they said they couldn't re uh, replicate it, send it back home with me. The very next day, I actually have video of that. If I can find it, I'll probably insert it right here. My headlights just went off. I mean, this is the first time I've drove my truck with my lights and it just went off. I turned my blinker on, nothing. They don't come back on. This is actually me turning right instead of left. Now, when I flip it on constant mode, look, my headlights came back on. That right there proves there's something wrong with my truck and I just got it on camera. So uh, it happened as soon as I got it back from the dealership and they didn't do it. You know, y'all didn't do anything to it, but I wanted to show you it just happened. It's crazy that it happened as soon as I got it back the very first time I drove it, but there's proof. In case y'all were wondering what the lights were out there, um, when that happens, the running daylights on this truck do not go off. So you still have running daylights. You can still see a little bit, but y'all can notice in the video that um, as soon as I turned on the headlights, it got a lot brighter. That's crazy that it happened as soon as I got the truck back. First time I drove it, first time I turned on the turn signal, um, lights went out that's it's amazing they couldn't duplicate it but i did the first time i got the truck back but the very next day i left in this truck to go to work i turned on my turn signal when the switch went back down the headlights didn't come back on now that would be a major thing if you didn't have like a 1794 or a platinum edition because those trucks actually have a driving or daytime running light right here but anything behind like I think a, a, a Platinum or 1794, I don't think comes stock with daytime running lights. The limited may, but I don't think it does. So I had daytime running lights that were LEDs and it shined enough light um, on the ground where I could actually, you know, see where I was going. But I do wanna say, as long as you used constant mode on and off, that never happened. It was only in the auto mode. And that is the main problem I've ever had with this truck. And so I actually took a video of it when it happened and they didn't come back on. I showed the switch was where it was at. Once I flipped it back down to um, constant, they came back on, no problem at all. I took that up there, showed it to Toyota and they still didn't want to fix it. This is the only problem I've ever had with any kind of Toyota or with a dealership of Toyota. It was like a $200, $230 part. It wasn't even that expensive a part. Um, then I expressed to them a little bit of my concerns and they seen it my way and they replaced the switch. Now fast forward to now. Why didn't I do a video of this sooner? Well, I wanted to make sure it was working. Yeah, the day after I put it in it worked, but two weeks later did it work. You know what I'm saying? So now it's been, I don't know, six months or so, give or take, uh, seven months maybe. And I've drove with it long enough that I can honestly give you an opinion. My lights are fixed. And from what I read online, like I said, it's 1794s and Platinums because I think those are the only ones that have the auto headlights on these years. So if you have a 1794 or a Platinum Edition that's around a 2016, 17-ish model year and your headlights flicker, it is your stock switch to turn on your headlights on your dash. Um, that was what they did. That is what Toyota recommended. They actually contacted corporate Toyota and that's what they recommend to do. And that's what they did. I do believe they did a revision on that switch and um, updated something in it. And that tells me that, you know, they probably fixed the issue and I don't have to worry about it anymore. But I didn't want to do a review of this like 
two weeks after I got it back because who knows if it was fixed then. If I'm gonna do a review for you guys and let you know if something's fixed or not, I don't wanna do it the next day. I wanna do it months later and that's why it took me so long to do this video. My headlights do seem to be fixed. I don't have any flickering issues at all with them. I am still running my LED bulbs in it. No issues. I did get these bulbs or GTR bulbs. I got them from Headlight Revolutions. Uh, I do run the, the LED bulbs and the headlights and the fog lights. The fog lights would also go out with this because they are controlled with the stalk. I put the factory bulbs back in it. They were the ones that went out and didn't come back on. That was right then when I knew I had an issue with something other than the bulbs and it wound up being the switch. And luckily for me that everything worked out and the one got injured and now my headlights are completely fixed. I would like to just, you know, report that. And it, it's like I said, sorry it took me so long. I see people that do reviews on stuff. You know, I've got 2000 miles on my truck. Is my truck reliable? It is reliable for 2000 miles, but I didn't want to do that. So. I wanted to give you a, a full six or eight month review or, or time to see, make sure that these things were still working and uh, make sure everything was, was perfectly okay and, and was gonna be okay for the long term. And that seems to be the case. And I'm glad Toyota got that fixed. Again, if you have any flicker issue at all in your auto mode, just flip it back to constant. That will solve your issue until you can get that switch replaced and then you can go back to using auto. I've never turned mine off auto since then and everything's worked out perfect. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.